And that's the moment when the universe ran out of ammunition. I like the sound of that. I didn't beat my spot in. Yep, Presley. Give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had Volca. a run. It's happening. Heading down to see the captain? I am. Uh, I heard you arguing, though. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't well, need to cause any trouble. Don't have a chat! But you have to Sorry. admit, something's Sorry, guys. about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Beep, 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 beep. Why send a spectre? Game like Stark on stream? On a shakedown. Uh, it doesn't add up. Test on two displays. Oh, why is that? Give me two seconds. Why is that? No, I can, I'm seeing it right now, in fact. Let me let me get past this dialogue, right? And then I'll, I'll do that. What do you know about the stealth systems? Thanks, Volka. I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheap. PJ Day. Ivy, that Plus could be your thing. It's pretty obvious the shakedown. That could be our thing. Sunday, Sunday is pajama stream day. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain yeah, I usually wear a uh, pajama bottoms because no one can see. <laughs> if he melted down all his metals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Uh, it's like Something contrast big. is high and bite is low. Yeah. No, I'll get it figured out. I'm just, I want, to, I want to run through this dialogue first, then I'll do that. But I appreciate you telling me that, Volker. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was long ago. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board, especially a I Turian. want you to fix it now! Vessel, human military, <laughs> but Listen, you're Volker, right? To the captain like don't the you get Spectres lippy with me, boy. Outside the normal chain of I'll come to Finland and, they don't come along just and to I'll shakedown runs. put Haggis through your letterbox. Looks like he's expecting some heavy I know. Any, I Volker know. becomes any more sassy, become a Sasquatch. <laughs> hey! I'll see if I can get some answers when I <laughs> see you. <laughs> hey! Good luck, Commander. Right, so options, graphics, uh, dynamic shadows, can't be that. Calibration. I say so contrast is not even on. Is it maybe this? Is that better? <laughs> I love how he shook his head. It seems the same on my stream. If I put HDR on. Adjust the game's HDR contrast until the logo is no longer visible. Yeah, it just seems too dark now. How is that? Is that better? Let's see. Something I can do for you, Commander? I was curious about a few things. 
You and me both. Like I said before, too many things don't add up on this mission. I better head down and see the captain. All right, if I take... Why is this? Drop contrast a little. What, so like, can I more towards here, you'd say? So like people are not sausages. Maybe I want them to look like sausages. Uh, Calibrate peak brightness on your output device. Adjust the slider until the logo is no longer visible. I just had sausages. Wait, why don't I just take HDR off, right? Something I can do for you, Commander? That seems better. But why, but why is HDR the issue? Does, does HD? I'm wasting like a complete idiot here, right? But does HDR not make the game look visually better? Like, what does HDR do? Does anyone know? Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Yeah, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Uh, it's meant, uh, it's meant to, but I guess it depends on the game graphics. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. Oh, look, the first to die, like soldier. Oi! Spectre on board. Stop giving stuff away, right? We have people in here that's never played this game before, Volker. I'm going to give you a slap in the wrist. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Don't play the hero. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? So he says. Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. All right, Jenkins, fanboy much? What do you know about the Spectres? Oh my god, I love Nihilus! The Spectre agents work oh my god. the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Wait, where have I heard the word Citadel recently? Organization with a yeah, I know. To preserve and protect galactic what are you up to, Ivy? Hmm? Protect it at any eh? cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Oh. No human Spectres? Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Ivy sus. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. Uh, Eden Prime? You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? Shit. Very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. 
Even Paradise gets boring after okay, a while. Okay, Jenkins's ripped sex pack. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Look at that sex pack. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Okay, you. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Let's go. Uh, it's just a uh, flame liar, like a Roman armor. Nah, he's hedge as fuck. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Where's Captain Anderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond the beautiful? They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it really? Is that a threat? Uh, what's your point and why, why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I knew it! I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why the secret, sir? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? What? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Uh, so why did we tell the Council? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the... Nihilus is such an edgy team design. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a phase, Volker. Leave me alone. Action, <laughs> He's here to evaluate you. Like hell he is! Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. I never the grew out of my edgy phase. Power and authority. If they Keep rocking on, Ivy. Ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Oh, uh, Nihilus? What? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I like that. I like no. I like him now. Uh, it's a very long phase. Just I keep on Ivy. This is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Um, Protheans? What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees. Galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. 
And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Eden Prime? I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. Hmm? It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. I can't wait for when we can actually colonize other planets. It's going to be so good. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Captain, Earth. we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better Joker? see this. What? Joker, Bring sir? it up on screen. Get down! out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold of 38.5 what the fuck is Status that report. 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. What's wrong with Shepard's face? He's like, ah. Tell right, right, right. and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Jenkins, eh? Did, did you see that as well, Ivy? I'm just, like, just imagining that. Engaging but, stealth systems. I thought his face was a bit messy. He's like, <laughs> Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. Rest in best fist. The beacon's <laughs> your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Understood, Captain. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two.
How do you like put your gun away? I mean, case of. <laughs> yes, Ivy. <laughs> or H. The holster, that makes sense. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, shit. That guy's body's charred. He was like, what the fuck? I know. Jenkins is dead? GG Jenkins. Rip right through his shields. We're out of chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. So surprised. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Pearl Jenkins, eh? Didn't get to, didn't get to see a uh, uh, news left shift to Z to attack target. Beauty. Okay. They're getting shot either. I can't tell. Oh. Do you know what I'd have liked to try and see them implement? I don't think they could have done it though. See the Mass Effect Andromeda combat? Because that is really good. He just got impaled. Roger, Roger. Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. <laughs> you abandoned him? <laughs> what a dickish thing to say. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. 
We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth opened. It was your fault! The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Oh, the Geth. Why are they here now? The Seth? What? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Just like every well, that, AI they does. kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Ooh. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Let's Move go. Out. Press escape uh, to go to the screen button. Should we toggle helmet? Keep helmet on or off? This is where you can start to like put rounds in it and stuff like that. Hammerhead. Uh, 2% force damage, cooldown. I'll be good on Caden. Because he's got cooldown with stuff.
It allows you to throw enemies and objects. That sucked. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Change of plan, Shepard. Oh, we'll get more points. Shit, we're okay. Salt training. Get you all the way up with assault rifle. Equipment. Damage. Accuracy. What about down? But that's fine. That's fine. In fact, is he not a. Uh, what is he? A, sent a sentinel? That's somebody that's got tech and uh, bionic mixed in it, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Yeah, okay, so that armor's probably better on him than it is me then. Like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. <laughs> what the fuck are those things? Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? So they impale them, and it seems to, by the sounds of it, or the looks of it, door, turn, turn them into some game. weird robotic thing. It's in here. Assault rifle banshee, let's take that. Yep, thank you. I remember this. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the, the door. 
before they come back. There's a dragon edge. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? Yeah, Dr. Warren. moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Hmm. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Talk about this guy. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness? Game of Thrones reference. To see the destruction rushing towards us, to understand there is no escape, no hope. No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up. <laughs> Fuck no. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. They got anything here I can take? Nah. Mad Manuel, eh? The crazy guy. Usually it's always like, people like that, there's always something behind the... What they're saying. Oh, is that not turning? Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh shit. What if he is the only same one? Then we're all fucked, Ivy. We are what fucked. Is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. of space reading with a party of two welcome welcome everyone how how was your stream uh Get back. We got a raid up in here. Thanks for shouting, Ivy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. You're playing some PGA tour. Uh, tour. Nice. 
Uh, yeah, mate, stream was good. Just messing with PGA. Uh, absolutely failed, uh, but we'll try again. I always remember when we were younger, you loved the PGA games. Something you always played. Everybody that was stay easy. calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. But thanks for the raid, man. I appreciate it. Is it safe? Are they gone? It's safe. You're okay now. Nobody's I'm here. Hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. So you ran away. That's what you're saying. You ran away. Attack details. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops. But how are you, J.D.? We just saw it and ran. How was your weekend been? I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. <laughs> okay. Someone's a bit naive. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Hey, why are we just farmers? We're just farmers, we are. Ship. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. A jamming signal? It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, Felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Smuggling's a king. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. That's so fucking hard. found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. Scott! But you'll probably get more use Holy out of hell! Here. Subscribed nine months in a current nine month streak. Holy fuck. Basically gave buff with these nine months. Scott, we have a sub baby together. Last time Scott was streaming, he was playing FIFA 20. No way. What are we calling our stream baby, Scott? We need to give it a name. Tropicus? That's what, Tropicus. Um, yeah, I used to love uh, playing them. Need some serious practice uh, with that one, though. Uh, weekend has been good. Uh, yesterday was good uh, Was good to see. Uh, was just kept up uh, with the neighbours. Oh, what, what, what were the neighbours doing? What were the neighbours doing? But, Scott, thank you for that sub, mate, for nine months. That is fucking fantastic. Farquhar the sub baby? Cool. I dub thee Farquhar the sub baby. Me and Scott have had a, a stream baby together. <laughs> How are you, Scott? We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. Congrats, guys. Thanks. This was over, but you can you can be the godmother, I feel, okay? Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He may know something. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. Draw this. <laughs> Scott's, Scott's like, how the fuck do I unsub, man? Like, how do I do that? <laughs> oh, what did he give me? Gave me a stinger too. Ah, that guy gave me a stinger. Sorry. Uh, Ashley. Get the banshee. Oh, really? What? Oh, 
Ah, boo. Fucking boo. But yeah, guys, we're playing through some Mass Effect Legendary Edition. So, I thought, why not? I'll sun Sunday's kind of my day where I can kind of like just stay on the computer all day and do what I want. Because Nic Nicola works and yeah. Got all the free time with myself. So I'm probably going to stream this, what I'm doing right now, and then put it over on, um, put it over on YouTube. Commander, it's Nihilus. Nihilus is dead! Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't... Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Are you, though? As a human? Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Did you, I? <laughs> I need to know how Nihilus died. Did you enjoy yourself yesterday, Scott? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friends seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. What about the beacon? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. The gift didn't find you. How come Why? you're the only one who survived? Mm -hmm. Why did not find Why didn't them? anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> if you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Your call's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Mm -hmm. Hand over those grenades. Yep, hand them over. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Sure. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Let's go. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. What did it give me that was fucking top of the range? What the fuck was it? Oh. That's maybe?
Oh shit. Did I am back boy? You know, he died there. That's fucking douchebag. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Roger, roger. Somebody just get fucking magical powers. Demolition charges. The guest must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. No shit, Sherlock. Fucking shit me. Oh. Find another one. Another one. Good job watching the flanks, guys. What have you found? Fucking walking at me with a rocket launcher. Another Minecraft spawner. Oh shit. Zombos. Need to watch out for the zombos, bro. 
Come here, get you. Shouldn't be too much longer. Uh, bad tear day. Remember, you're a zombie. I'm a zombie. You take that back, Ivy. I'm not a zombie. That's Turin. Uh, sing the tune or remember you're a... I don't know that song, I don't think. Yeah, I don't know them. Oh, that, is that one? It's like, like a zombie. That one, is that what you're talking about? I don't know bands and shit like that, but I can never remember like songs. No, fuck, I don't know then. Don't know Ivy. Share it on Discord? Right, okay. Give me all this loot. My little loot hoard. Loot hoard. Loot hoa. I love it. What's over here, mister? See, there's nothing over here and the game just like yeets me. I'll be disappointed. Oh, it's hiding something. In this crate. Let's go towards the Promethean. I love how it starts us there when we're right up to it. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Ah, oh, shit. Shepard! No, don't touch it! Psionic powers, I can make stuff explode. 